Hi, I'm in a super good mood. I just got back from the grocery store, but not any grocery store. It was a super, super fun grocery store. It is called Mother's Market. It's only in Southern California. I'm sorry, I promise you, even if you don't live here, still watch this video because there's some super fun stuff that I know you can find at other grocery stores, of course. But it's kind of like a Whole Foods or a Sprout. It's like a health food store, which I think are the most fun places to go. I could have a bad day, then go to a fun grocery store and it doesn't even matter because that was so much fun. I would have spent hours in there if I could going up and down every single aisle. I wasn't even planning on doing a grocery haul until I had everything in my cart and I looked at it and thought, wow, I think it would be mean if I didn't share it with everyone. So I have so many fun foods and I'm very excited. This video is not sponsored by Mother, so if I continue talking super highly about them, it's just because I actually really like the store. They are not paying me at all. My family and I discovered this store because they do curbside like grocery delivery, so you don't even have to go in. And then you can also pick up food from their restaurant because they have like a restaurant connected to the grocery store. And today I decided to go in shopping, not the grocery pickup, but actually go in. And I had never been in this store before. Oh, so much fun. Um, I don't know. I'm just going to get started. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. I actually never say that, but if you want, then you should. And I'm going to get my first food items out. So starting out, we're going to do produce. I feel like that's what I always do with my grocery hauls. And first we got two watermelons. The other one is somewhere else. This was the very first thing I got when I went there today and one of my favorite things. And we got two containers of strawberries, which were two for $7 and they're organic. So that's such a good deal. I've never seen strawberries that are organic that are that cheap. But one question I do have, out of the first two fruits that I've showed you, watermelon and strawberries which is better please comment this down below i am so curious because i was in a debate with someone the other day and i think watermelon is so much better than strawberries they thought strawberries are better so please let me know i think watermelon is my favorite fruit besides bananas because they're necessary for smoothie bowls but like to eat plain watermelon is the best fruit and it's getting into watermelon season and i'm so excited um please comment down below strawberries or watermelon i'd love to know then we got two bunches of bananas because I used up the last of our bananas today for banana bread, two mangoes, and some cherries, which I have not had cherries in so long. I am so glad that they had them today. Lemons, three Japanese sweet potatoes, which are the best sweet potatoes. No other sweet potato even compares. These are amazing. Pretty much the only ones I buy. Also, Japanese sweet potatoes are purple on the outside and white in the inside. Two avocados, some cherry tomatoes, and then Brussels sprouts, which I wanted to say, I normally always bring my reusable produce bags, but this varies from county to county, to store to store, so please do your own research on where you shop before. But at least on this store, on this particular county, you cannot bring the reusable bags right now like because of Corona, because like the workers aren't allowed to touch your bags don't completely get it so we had to use plastic obviously for things that we didn't need to use it for like the avocados mangoes and sweet potatoes we didn't but for things like brussels sprouts we had no option radishes snap peas and zucchini so now that we have produce out of the way we can get into more of the fun stuff um so mothers has a huge section of food that they make themselves not even taking into account the whole restaurant that they have they have a giant like bar where you can go up and order different types of hummuses or baked goods and there's so 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 many vegan options they have these different types of sandwiches and a ton of different stuff and the first thing that we got from that is the mango salsa i've never had this from there but it looks good i also got these vegan spring rolls which are already eight they were stuffed with mung bean noodles cabbage tofu carrots mushroom spices a bunch of different stuff they were amazing. I would 100% buy these again. It came with like a sweet chili sauce. They were so good. And now for frozen items, because I kind of want to get those in the freezer. I first got this Amy's vegetable pot pie. I've made a chickpea pot pie since going vegan, and it was amazing, but I've never had a store-bought vegan pot pie. Um, this one is like potatoes, carrots, tofu, onions, a bunch of different stuff. And then, I've also been wanting to try these for a long time. They are vegan chicken-style taquitos. These are supposed to be super popular. Like, I've heard of this brand so much. Yeah, I am really excited. I think they're going to be super good. And then, I got some cashew milk. This is probably my favorite plant milk. And then also, I've never had Oatly, which you might be shocked about, 
but Oatly always sold out. I've tried oat milk before, just different brands. Never Oatly, because I've never seen it. But right now, they were like fully stocked, so I got it, and I tried it already. Um, to me, it just tastes like every other brand of oat milk I've had. I don't know why everyone loves this brand specifically. I think it's just as good as every other brand. Um, it's not bad, but it's not, I don't think it's any better than the other brands, but I don't know, maybe I'm wrong, maybe I need to try some more oat milk, but it was good. Definitely do like it. So since we're talking about drinks, I might as well keep going with that. And first I got this Watermelon GT's Kombucha. This is one of my favorite flavors, and also it's not available in a ton of grocery stores, but I found it in this one, and I'm super excited to have it. And then also there's this brand of drink. They call it a sparkling tonic called Olipop. I've seen them all over Instagram. They are probiotic like sparkling drinks that are supposed to taste like soda but aren't actually soda. They have like two or three grams of sugar per can and I've never seen them in store before but I got their root beer flavor, the vintage cola, and strawberry vanilla. I don't know if they have any more flavors but I tasted the root beer today and I do like it. It smells amazing but it is sweetened with stevia which I can taste stevia in anything, even as the smallest amount. I don't like stevia. I think that if you're going to use a healthier sugar alternative, monk fruit is much better. This is okay. I think if you had it in like a root beer float, that would be good. Plain, I wouldn't buy this again. I will keep you updated though on the other two flavors because honestly, I don't know if I like the vintage cola one much, but I do have high hopes for the strawberry vanilla. We'll see though. Next, we got some dried mango. I've been wanting dried mango for the longest time. I've already eaten a good amount of this since we got home. And then we got some peanut butter. I've never had this brand before. I normally get Laura Scudders or Costco, um, but I'm gonna try this one. I actually did already like mix it out of this Laura Scudders and Costco. This is so much easier to mix than the other two ones. The other two is like a full on arm workout to mix it, but this one is actually super easy. I mean, yes, it is just peanut butter, but that is very good peanut butter. I would recommend this brand. Next, I got some tomato soup, and I don't know if I've actually ever had this brand of tomato soup. It is tomato creamy soup, but there's no dairy. It is tomato paste, onion, celery, potatoes, carrots, cane sugars, tapioca starch, garlic, sea salt, canola oil, and spices. So it's pretty good ingredients. I'm actually really excited for this. The reason I got this was because I have some leftover vegan cheese slices from a video, which I never really go out and buy vegan cheese. I just don't ever eat it, but now I need to use it and I wanted to make a grilled cheese with tomato soup, so I had to get this. And the very last thing that I have is this Kashi or Kashi or Kashi? Kashi. I'm gonna say Kashi. It sounds better. Organic blueberry clusters. Story behind why I got these. My friend Pippin posted on her Instagram story that this is the best cereal. I replied to it and said no, actually. The Nature's Path Pumpkin Flax Granola is the best. But I kind of had to take my point back because I've never tried this one. So then she said that I needed to try this one and to update her on if I liked it. So I found it at the store today. I'm going to do a live taste test. I'm going to send her this video link. Actually, I'll probably text her like right now, so maybe not. I mean, I think it'll be good. I still don't think it's gonna beat the pumpkin flax granola, but who knows? First critique is that there's these blueberry granola clusters. There needs to be more of these, like way more. It's not an equal ratio. There's so many of the like, oat flakes, but it needs to be more of an equal ratio. Also, it has a disclaimer that this was enlarged as if you wouldn't know that the cereal is not this big. Okay, I have just a little bowl because I just ate the spring rolls and I'm not very hungry. But it's now time for a taste test. So overall review of the cereal. Is it good? Yes. Would I buy it again? Yes. But is it better than the pumpkin flax granola from Nature's Path? No. Sorry. So. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed it. I had so much fun filming this, but if you stayed at the end, I love you so much and I'll see you all in my next video. I think this one's going up Saturday, so I'll see you on Tuesday, which my Tuesday will be a what I eat in a day. So hopefully you're excited. Um, it has some fun food in it because I've already filmed it. Um, thanks so much for watching and I'll see you all on Tuesday.